I mean, obviously we didn't like lose a lead, so it's not like disappointing or anything like that in terms of the close game that we've had in the past. Um, it's a dog fight. They're, they're a good ball club. Obviously, they're uh, six in the East, I, I believe, before this game. Um, have a phenomenal player. He's probably going to be an all-star in, in Kimba. And uh, we made just enough plays, um, just enough shots, all the, all, just enough stops. So it was a credit to our group in terms of maturing. All the zone that you played in the boxing room, did you know going into the game that that was going to be part of the game for them? No, we didn't. Uh, you know, uh, we started to hedge the, the pick and roll a little bit. Kim was stopped behind the hedge, hit a couple threes, and uh, we just decided to be flexible, switch up our defense completely. Um, it's something that we didn't really talk about, but, you know, it was effective for us and, and kind of froze them a little bit and uh, allowed us to get just enough stops to uh, be able to win. Spencer, you guys have nine wins now in December, the most wins in the smallest season era. You've been here for the majority of, for all that time. How do you feel kind of being part of the team growth and, and seeing what you guys have accomplished? Oh, I mean, obviously, we've had a lot of team turnover um, over over my years uh, here. Um, we, we have a group that we really believe in. Um, and obviously, Coach believes in. We've got a lot of talented guys in this locker room. And so uh, this year is a lot different than uh, some of the other years um, that we've had just in terms of continuity. And, and uh, thank God, being a little bit more healthy uh, than we have been in the past, uh, obviously besides Karis. Um, but yeah, no, we, we're just kind of coming together, maturing and, and, and gelling at, at, at a good time, and hopefully uh, the trajectory keeps uh, going up. As the season goes forward, what do you think is the biggest key to keeping this uh, hot streak sustainable? Oh, I mean, hopefully it's not a, like a hot streak. It's you know how we play. Um, you know, we gotta keep the focus where it needs to be. Have a defensive mentality and try to get one percent better every day. And uh, hopefully we can kind of just keep uh, you know the building blocks going. You mentioned Especially getting one. some stops. I mean, could you just touch on a a Joe's that steal and yeah. break away, and then obviously the job that Brody did, staying in front and yeah. not lunging or doing anything silly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously, uh, you know, once we kind of switched up our defense a little bit and really tried to get it out of Kimba's hands as much as possible, it makes other guys have to uh, make plays. Rory sat down and, uh, you know, played really good defense on that last play and uh, got, obviously, the ball free, and, and Joe was in the right place, right time, um, like he has been for us all year. Scooped it up, pushed it, you know, got us the game winning bucket. Um, that's, that's just, you know, that's Joe. He, he's going he's gonna to be in the right place all the time. He's going to make clutch baskets, big threes, all that. So, you know, uh, it, it's a pleasure to play with. Spencer, when you're on island against um, Kemba, what makes him such a tough cover? Um, I think it's his ability to stop. That's, uh, that, I think that's what's uh, different between him and everybody else in the league. I, I would probably put him up with uh, Kyrie as probably the two uh, shiftiest guys. Um, Kyrie probably moves side to side a little bit. Uh, better and differently than, than Kemba does in terms of shiftiness, but Kemba stops. And so obviously uh, he creates that separation because he can move a quick burst and then literally just plant stop. He seems stronger too with that sort of like power inside out cross that he does when he's coming down. Oh, I mean, you know, he's, he's a phenomenal ball handler, obviously, so he's going to be able to uh, manipulate the ball and, and, and shift and manipulate the defense in that manner. Um, but definitely probably, I mean, in terms of, to me, what, what makes him hard is, uh, you know, it's, it's better to stop. How would you describe what we've seen from Rodi the last two weeks, just the way he's very quickly taken on just a really major role? Oh, man, he has, he has no fear. He plays really hard. Uh, I think the best part about him as a rookie is that he's usually in the right spot, and uh, that's something that, you know, is rare for a rookie. Um, but, but that's what's allowing him to play crunch time minutes, obviously. And then because he's doing all the little things right, you start to see his talent because that's what's going to come through after, you know, you get all the minutia down and all that stuff. He's, you know, able to get big stops for us, pushing in the break, he's a tear in transition. Obviously, you see he's shooting uh, the gaps and passing lanes and, and getting dunks. And, uh, you know, as a spot-up shooter, he's also been very effective. So, you know, he's a, he's a great talent for us. I think they were able to keep set a career high in three pointers, maybe. Is something like Steph to them? Oh, man. Hey, what I tell y'all? In a couple in a row. I'm 6'3 in light skin, baby. <laughs> Thanks. Man, you get ready to fly. I tell you, the fans are getting ready to fly. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, uh, I think some of it also, the game was a lot longer than traditional games, so there's more minutes than you know, usually playing 25, 30 minutes. A lot of guys might play 40 or more um, because of the double overtime. So, you know, some of that, obviously, uh, boosts the stats a little bit. So, you know, that's, that's as much a product of it as
Uh, I mean, I, I think the best part about this, this game is number one, you know, he to expend all his energy and, and go through the double overtime game and, and, and lose. So, you know, that's that's the best uh, best takeaway from this. Um, you know, uh, those, those arguments in terms of awards and things, that's that's going to be a lot for, for you guys and fans and, and all that stuff. There's really nothing in my control, quite honestly. So it's not something I focus on. And, you know, that's kind of what we talked about at the beginning of the year. You know, if, if, you, if your focus is there on, on things that are not in your control, it sidetracks you and, and usually has an adverse uh, effect on, on what you're trying to accomplish as long as you keep your focus on where it needs to be, which is obviously uh, getting better every day and then trying to win games. You know, the rest of all is going to take care of yourself. Joe's, Joe's available, guys, if you want to be Damn, we finally got our head on our ass, huh? Thanks, guys. No problem.